What's going on you guys, it's your boy the FWOTI to the biggie here once again for another video. This video is about obviously uh, the Olympic board passing professional boxers to take part in the Rio Olympics. Um, so I just wanted to do my little thoughts on that. But before I start this video you guys, I just wanted to do a big shout out to my girl Lalani who is fighting her first cage fight this weekend on Sunday the 5th of June in Rochester at the casino rooms if any of you guys watch my videos and you're in the Rochester area in Kent and you and you like cage fighting that lot go down there check it out there's a night of cage fighting on and, and she's having her first fight in the in the cage so yeah I just wanted to wish her good luck and all the best um your dad's shown me a couple of your fights and all that, so you're coming along well. So you go out there, girl, you do your business and you take care of business just how we do it in South London. So, yeah, I just wanted to wish you all the best. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, hopefully her dad hopefully might send me some video footage, so I might even put that up in the channel um, at some point. So I just want to give her a quick shout out on that and wish her all the best. You know, t keep your guard up and all that business and... Just go out there and do your best. That's all we can ask for. And nothing but love. So, yeah. So, that's what I just wanted to do firstly before I started on with this video. So, let's get straight into it because I gave you guys a long video yesterday. Um, I haven't been too well this week. So, I don't really want to do long videos. Yesterday's one was a little bit longer than intended. So, let's just get straight into it. So, basically, boxing at the Olympics got passed this week. Um, that... Pro boxers can now take part in the Olympics. Now, this is something that I feel very, very strongly about. I don't feel that pro boxers have any, 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 any place in the Olympics. Um, the Olympics has always been for amateur boxers coming through. And that obviously then lead on to other things like professional boxing. Uh, if you want to take that up afterwards, um, you can stay in the amateurs and fight out later olympics and it's just madness i mean professional boxers in the olympics it's just absolutely stupid like just imagine if someone like Gladi golovkin chose to fight at middleweight could you imagine the damage that guy could cause or even anthony joshua the anthony joshua of today coming back four years later and going after another olympic gold he isn't the same fighter as he was then he's a, a more experienced fighter he's a more dangerous fighter he hits a lot harder now um, and it's just bad i could just see if this happens i can just see a lot of lot of problems happening there'll be a lot of things going wrong in in the rio olympics people will get hurt and that is the bottom line people will get hurt Amateurs are a different level to to professional fighters. I'm not being horrible when I say that, but they are. Um, it is not. It's not on. Um, Ami Khan has already said he said he'd come back and represent Pakistan and whatnot. And to be fair, the only thing Ami is ever going to win is is he's come back now as to win Olympic gold. He didn't win it when he was 17. I doubt if he could even win it. Imagine if Mayweather. Imagine if Floyd Mayweather come out and done the Olympics. No one would get near him. You know what I mean? But. It's just madness. Letting pro boxers now. I've got to commend the WBC on this. The WBC have come out and said that anyone who is their world champions or in their top 15 world rankings at any weight class, if they do take part in the Rio Olympics, they will get banned for two years um, out of their rankings. So, WBC, you're doing your thing. I love the way you're going with this one um, because no one wants to see it. No one wants to see um, professional boxers in an amateur ring and, and to make it worse I'm, I'm sure it's this year that the olympic board have passed that head guards will go could you imagine professional boxers in that ring with poor amateurs I don't, when i say poor amateurs i don't mean they're poor quality but you know a lower level standard of boxing and taking on on, on a professional boxer without head guards like a as i said like an anthony joshua or could you imagine tyson fury or even vladimir klitschko or anyone anyone big hitters gladly golovkin any one of them um, obviously you'd have to qualify to get into the finals but it would be ridiculous it's not something i want to see um i know there's a lot of professional boxers that don't want to see it either um including people like tony bell um johnny nelson and there's also quite a lot of outspoken american fighters that just don't want to see it and especially with the amount of doping that's going on in sports at the, at the moment and especially boxing in general i mean i couldn't even tell you the last time that a european fighter from kind of Russia and that lot actually passed a test after a fight um, obviously Povetkin of late and then you had uh, Lucia Brute against uh, Badu Jack he 
tested positive. And you got obviously Lucius Brown tested positive. It's just going on absolutely everywhere. And the Olympics has got enough marks over it with all the scandals going on with drugs and that lot. So you don't want any more of that. And you're letting professional boxers back in with what's going on at the minute. It's just sheer craziness. So yeah, I'm totally against it. Hopefully, um, professional boxers see sense and they don't try and qualify in that. I mean, it's just. It just make a mockery of the whole Olympics for me personally, and I just don't want to see it. So I just want to do a quick video for you guys talking about this because it's not fair on people like Nicola Adams, who is a, like obviously she's a female boxer, but she stayed in stayed as a amateur to go to this next Olympics. And you imagine someone like a let's just say for instance, where is it? Came from? Just imagine a pro women's boxer coming down and, and taking on someone like Nicola Adams and that like it just it just wouldn't be fair these people are trained for far too long for far for a far amount of time and no it's, it's just not on so yeah this was your boy FWOTI to the big E once again um I didn't want to do a big long video today because I put a long one out there yesterday so yeah this is just a quick one of my thoughts on the Olympics and before I go one other thing um Obviously, news broke yesterday that Muhammad Ali had been rushed into hospital um, with breathing problems. News has broken tonight that he is on a life support machine. Um, it does look like the end is very near for Muhammad Ali. So I just wanted to send out my prayers um, to Muhammad Ali and his family. Obviously, Muhammad Ali is will go down as the greatest of all time. Um, a lot of people would dispute that, Floyd being one of them. Um, he looks at that he's the greatest of all time, but you know Muhammad Ali broke barriers, um, you know, and the whole thing with him saying no, we won't go and do his service, and then they stopped him boxing, and he missed his prime, and then he boxed on for too long, and then he got Parkinson's because he was boxing too late in his career because he missed his prime. It's just a, it's just an absolute shame. Um, what a man! What a man! What a world champion! Um, what an ambassador for the sport! So I just want to send out my love and prayers to the great Muhammad Ali. And yeah, guys, this has been your boy, the FWOTI to the big E. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all that lovely business. And peace, guys. Bless.